Hello. Once again, I come before you as a representative of the Illuminati. You may call me the man. Well, today's question comes from one of our viewers, and I have to say, if you guys are watching, uh, we really do enjoy the comments and the questions that we get. So if you have a question about, well, basically anything, just just make sure you just leave it there. And if we know anything about it, I mean, we're, we don't know exactly what you're going to have for supper tomorrow or something like that, so we're not actually going to be able to answer anything like that. But if it's a broad, general question, like, you know, where are the UFOs parked or something like that. We, we'll be happy to answer something like that. So yeah, just, just leave yourself a, a little comment down there in the comment section below and we'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. Um, but today's question comes from a viewer and he says, uh, what's the deal with Agenda 21? Now Agenda 21 is, it's not one of ours actually. It's, it's, it was something that was created by, um, by the United Nations and uh, I think is, good gracious, 20, 20 years old or so? It, it was a long time ago. Um, the United States did sign on to it under Ger George Herbert Walker Bush and also again under Bill Clinton. But um, like most UN resolutions, it's non-binding, which means that it's not even worth the paper it's written on. Now the agenda itself, uh, on the surface of it, is very good for the environment. As a matter of fact, the environment is probably the main reason for having Agenda 21. They, uh, the agenda is all about, you know, setting aside large tracts of land for wildlife and um, making sure that human habitation is kind of concentrated into super city kind of things. Kind of like Judge Dredd, actually. But anyway, um, yeah, so that we don't encroach and we don't destroy the planet and it's all sustainable. And that all sounds very nice being sustainable and stuff because, you know, we don't want to use up the planet. Um, we would like to live here. For a long time, hey, hey, Anunnaki, yeah, that would be that would be nice. Um, however, he goes about it in certain ways that are just quite distasteful. Uh, it, it's not a big fan of private property ownership because the people who drew who drew up this agenda they didn't care for the idea that somebody could say to the government, uh, "No, you can't do that. I own this property, and you can't take it." Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not a good thing. And of course, we in the Illuminati are all about freedom. We are about freedom of people who, who can own land and, uh, and gather wealth and all that kind of fun stuff because, you know, free people are easier to control and people who are wealthy have more stuff so they are more likely to do what you need them to do. They, they have more to lose. So uh, anyway, yeah, we didn't do the Agenda 21. That was somebody else. And uh, yeah. It's non-binding. I mean, I, I don't think anybody should be worried about it. Like most UN resolutions, even the binding ones, most people ignore them anyway. If it weren't for the you know NATO forces or something like that behind any resolution, as a matter of fact, uh, well, the UN would just be a nice little club that people get together at and pay huge amounts of money to join. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a lot of money in that in that whole organization. But anyway, um, no, that's that's about it. Um, we in the Illuminati ignore it. I mean, just like we ignored Agendas 20 and uh, 19, which actually was there needs to be more egg salad sandwiches in the kitchen and the United States should pay for them. Um, 18, I think, had something to do with, I don't know, people shaving their legs or something. And 17 was a whole, gosh, that was just a big mess. That was a... Uh, Everybody wanted flying cars at the time. It was back in the 1960s, and they all wanted flying cars, and so they had passed this agenda that everybody's going to have a flying car by 1992. Well, do you fly around in a flying car? Because I don't. Not all the time, anyway. I mean, it was just a couple of times. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, we don't, we don't really pay attention to them. There are some people who, who are shaping their own policies to be kind of like Agenda 21, but these, these groups are kind of on the fringe. and. Uh, Honestly, if the government wants your land and they have to use Agenda 21, um, well, they haven't been reading their own constitution because chances are inside their own governmental constitutions, they have the ability to grab your land and use it for whatever purpose they seem fit uh, and compensate you or not, depending upon how that constitution is written. So, yeah, we've got a long way to go on that. We haven't quite figured out how to get the government to give up more power. They're not, they're not too good about that. They like grabbing power. but So anyway, yeah, we're, we're working on it. Don't worry about that. Uh, Agenda 21, don't worry about that either. Uh, just keep your eyes open. Make sure nobody tries to, I don't know, plant trees on your property without your permission. And everything should be fine. And, uh, you know, the Yanaki audit's still in operation. And uh, 
they're going to start paying attention pretty soon too because they've, they've worked their way all the way through the Wild Wild West series and uh, now they're about halfway through Star Trek and they got Hogan's Heroes coming up so that that should bode pretty well for us for a while but um, yeah, if you could be nice to your neighbor for a while that, that would be great at least until December 21st 2012 and uh, you know <clears throat> when you see those chemtrails blazing up there in the sky I wouldn't worry about them either I just relax and breathe deeply.